Hi, I'm Victoria Chick. I'm the art expert for Big Blend Magazine. Joe Wade and I share an interest. Joe Wade is, is the owner of JW Art Gallery. He's an artist himself. And our common interest is old artists. Artists for the past, I, as, as you may know from the magazine, I, I'm a print collector. Joe collects everything. The thing that to me is so outstanding about Leighton Blossom's paintings is the incredible detail and he gets into each object and each area. Uh, John, do you want to elaborate on how that occurs? <laughs> As you know, he, he was an illustrator and because of the techniques that he used to illustrate magazines. Uh, he, in this case, he's using a gesso uh, hardboard, and he liked to paint on a hard surface with uh, gouache. And uh, he's very tight and a lot of realism. He did, he just incredible amount of hours that he spent uh, on each painting. Mr. Bossom uh, spent some time in New York at the Art Student League. I'm not sure if he was a student or possibly a teacher. This portrait is an example of the 50s. This was painted in 1951. And it's, it's a very good example of the portraiture of that, of that time. This is an example of one of Fossum's paintings that I feel is in the tradition of Norman Rockwell. Many of Fossum's subjects represent the local area, western New Mexico, eastern Arizona. And the other thing that Fossum was, did was we always look for the unusual viewpoint, and this is an extreme example of that where you see the dust devil in the background and the tumbleweed flying through the air. Mr. Fossum was an illustrator, and this is an example of a book that he illustrated. It's uh, Nate, the Black Cowboy, and this is an example I call this modern woman, and why I enjoy this piece is because he invents an idea with this painting. He uses a reference to modern painting, which is like a Mondrian, and then he, he's using her dress as, as a complement to that. But if you, if you really can, can look in this area, all this is invented by the artist. It's an abstract piece of a painting on a wall, but it's all his invention uh, from his own mind. Here's another example of Mr. Fossum as, as an illustrator, and he's depicting uh, both color and texture, and that's the one thing that I that I see in, in his work is is an incredible incredible amount of detail and texture. I agree, and one of the things I see with his work is the, tr the transition. I, I, it's so incredible to me that he was able to go from rather slick work like you, you just showed to this highly detailed uh, work, and in addition to that, to arrange the composition uh, so that you really draw on it and it tells a story. So from that standpoint, he's still thinking, I think, with, a, with an illustrator's mind, but he's achieving fine art.